So welcome to video number two on how to feel better around money. Now, so far in video number one, you've highlighted one emotion that you think money is going to get you, right? And now what you're thinking is, and what you've probably already found out is that this is the emotion you must feel in order to achieve that. So the question is, how do we get to that emotion? Well, the answer is something that you might not want to hear, but it's true. And that is that we must access the level of us that we've been avoiding. There's also been an emotion that you've been avoiding. So when I ask you the question, what would you be feeling if you went broke, if you didn't have any money? What emotion comes up for you? Whether that be fear, worry, stress, anxiety, maybe even a bit of regret or maybe even some shame. What's that emotion for you? If you were to see your, your, bank, your bank balance go down and you were to feel yourself lose a certain amount of income, what is the emotion that comes up for you? Because this is the exact emotion we need to feel. Now let me explain why that is. Many entrepreneurs, when they feel a level of fear, what they do is they avoid it. They avoid themselves from feeling it. They distract themselves or they may even react to it or most often they resist it. They make it wrong. They make something about it feel like it shouldn't be there. What I want to offer you is the opportunity to actually feel it. Now, why is this important? We need to trace all the way back to our childhood where these patterns are formed around money. Because when we're a child, you think of yourself as a five-year-old. Really what your five-year-old self wants is just love. Right, we learn unconsciously as children, we need to be loved in order to survive. So we develop patterns of who we need to be or not be in order to be what we determine as enough and worthy of that love that means our very survival. If you have a hang up around money, my bet is somewhere in your childhood you learned consciously or unconsciously that your level of success, that your level of income is related to your self-worth, is related to you feeling good enough so that you're worthy of that love that matters most to you. So why is feeling this very important? Well, when you provide a safe space for this, this emotion to emerge, this emotion to just be there in your body, and you may want to do this right now, what you'll do is you'll provide a safe space for that younger you, that five-year-old self, that didn't feel loved. So you may want to take a deep breath right now and just instead of avoiding, instead of resisting, instead of reacting to that uncomfortable emotion that would come if you were to feel broke or if you were to lose a certain amount of income, if you were to just breathe and just welcome that emotion, understand that the emotion isn't bad, the emotion isn't something you can't handle, but just welcome it in, right? And feel it throughout your body and be very present with your body. And take some deep breaths and just realize what is happening internally, right? Where do you feel it? Is it in your throat, your head, your chest, your stomach, your legs, is it all over? This emotion of fear or doubt or overwhelm or regret or shame, whatever it may be, just feel it physically in your body and allow it to be there and welcome it to be there and provide a loving, safe space for it and just breathe with it. This is very different from avoiding it, very different from reacting to it, very different from resisting it or allowing it to be there. And what you may feel is that you're providing the loving, safe space that you wish your five-year-old had. The five-year-old who said, I need money in order to be enough. I need to be successful and achieve at that higher level in order to feel like I'm enough and worthy of love. What you're doing when you welcome that uncomfortable emotion in, you actually feel it. What you do is you provide that safe space that your five-year-old wish they had. That unconditional love. You can finally give that unconditional love to yourself. And what will happen when you breathe with it, when you allow it, when you welcome it, you may even start to feel it diminish. And this is powerful work, powerful work. You may even want to pause the video and just take time to do this. 
three to five minutes, just breathing with it and feeling it. Because every fear exists because you resist it. Every fear exists because you think it shouldn't be there. The moment you welcome it, you have a very, very different relationship with it. So I just want to offer that to you. If you actually do this exercise, comment below, let me know how it is. Let me know your insights. Let me know what you felt. Let me know once you breathe with it and allow it to be there, how it transforms within you. And what we'll discover in the next video is where this can lead to. Once you breathe with it, once you allow it, once you transform your relationship with yourself, you access a different level of creativity. You access a different level within yourself that actually allows you to go to the next level. Because you love yourself when you're broke, you access a side of you that can achieve massive amounts of abundance. So comment below, let me know how you go. I'll see you on the next video.